Hi everybody, welcome back to Winsome Cottage Garden. My name is Hannah. I'm so glad that you chose to join me today. Uh, today is actually the Friday before Mother's Day. Um, so we have some things planned for my mom to celebrate. It's also my dad's birthday. And so this weekend I've got a lot of stuff jam packed in. Um, doing a lot of yard cleaning, which there'll be a video next week about because that's what my dad wanted for his birthday. Uh, and then also today we're going to go get a couple early spring flowers for my mom and surprise her by transforming our front area pots. So here's what the entrance looks like right now. Uh, excuse spring cleaning items. Um, these are actually something you're going to see in another video uh, sometime soon. Um, they're bluebells really exciting uh, but this is an area that needs a little love so my brother is actually going to take down the Christmas stuff my parents need some help uh, getting them down because it involves a ladder and then we're going to rearrange some stuff pull out the winter greens and fill it with some pretty spring color first things first though we actually have to go get them so my dad and I are about to hop in the car head into town and see what kind of glorious spring color we can find oh but one thing I do want to show you really quickly do you remember that hot rhododendron replanted that I was shocked by how small the root system was. It is doing so well. It's got some nice blooms. I'm excited to show you what it looks like here in the next little bit. Anyway, let's go hop in the car and see what Lowe's has to offer. Okay, so we did go to Lowe's. We actually went yesterday. My mom saw us unloading everything right away. I thought I'd show you what I have. A little bit of a hodgepodge right now. We got them from a couple different places, but we've got a small selection of variety of pansies, some violas, a couple of ranunculus that need a little bit of deadheading, and actually some creeping flocks that we're going to temporarily put in the containers. Pots are going to be here and here. We have a third one I have to go find. And then if I have a couple things extra, I might stick one or two things in this planter here. Um, this is the front entrance to their house. Um, and so it's always fun to have a little seasonal color. You might have noticed we actually picked up a couple of um, other perennials while we were at the store today. This is kind of an odd space because there is a, um, a meeting of roofs right here. So these will mostly be mostly shade, uh, a tiny bit, I would say, of sun in the mornings because uh, the sun sets right over here, which kind of hits it directly. So these are actually plants we'll probably keep in this space until June or July. It's a lot cooler here than it is in the city and plants tend to last longer. So ranunculus would usually fizzle out in July, June, depending on how hot it gets in your area. I'll have to actually probably pull them while they're still looking good because every, they'll be looking a tiny bit tired, but they won't have started dying back yet. So I'm going to go set up the camera and we'll get through this quickly. Uh, but I will show you what variety of fruit trees these are because they are really good. So my parents actually have a couple green stalks too. Two of them have strawberries in that have mostly come back. I think what they'll probably do is these will put out runners fairly quickly because they are looking nice and healthy. Uh, and so they'll probably take a runner down to a near spy spot that hasn't shown quite so much life yet. It's possible they might still come, but unsure. What they'll probably do though is if like a whole layer, they had a lot of soil settle this year, so they might uh, pull out the dead plants, add some more before they put the runners. Uh, but those are the green stocks. We have some hellbores we actually bought at Trader Joe's um, that are looking a little sad. One of them I'm not sure is gonna make it, but the other four are definitely going to. So we'll get those planted. And then we have three fruit trees. Two of these are staying here. One of these is actually going to my house in the city. So one we actually have two of, one for here and one for the city, is a semi-dwarf gala apple. This is a self-fertile apple, so we won't need a second one to pollinate it. And so there's one here, and then that one, which is actually going to my house. And then we also have another self-fertile fruit, which is a, ne a flavor top nectarine. Uh, these, it's just started blossoming. I think it's probably a little further along where it started life than here. So I don't think it's going to do super well, but, um, these plants, we actually don't have plans to stick in the ground till later this summer, early fall. So we'd be pulling all the, any fruit off of them. Anyway. And then these are just, we couldn't resist when we went to the story of a baptisia. Uh, a beautiful bleeding heart 
like a traditional one, which is just magical. And then a smaller bleeding heart as well, which I just love. So I'm gonna actually set up a camera and get these pots um, going, show you everything that we're doing. And in the end, I will kind of show you how they came together and what's in the pots. Okay, we got everything done and tidied up and they just look so sweet. I'm so excited about this. These ended up being simple but pretty. These two pots are fairly similar, so I'll quickly show you what's in them. They each have a ranunculus, a viola, this pretty blue one, uh, as well as a creeping fox. This one has a white one and a variety of pansies. Like, look at this beauty. There's a couple in here. Uh, that I think will they'll stool out a little bit more and just provide a burst of color. Uh, this one over here, you can see we used similar things. It has a pink flux though, and a couple other different pansy varieties. Also on this side is this little trike that we like to add a little pop of color to. I have a yellow ranunculus. This, I will admit, is jam-packed. We have a yellow ranunculus, two pansies, and a pink uh, creeping phlox, which I think are just so sweet. I love the little vignette and pop of color that provides. Another little pop of color I love is this. Now, this is something that we'll actually probably be planting out fairly soon um, because we get a lot of coleuses in it. Coleus fern, a couple of different other things that are really spiky beauties with some height to fill this kind of, it's kind of an awkward space. It needed something. Inside this little arrangement, I have two floxes, two white floxes, one pink flox, and probably three pansies just in front of it. There's really nothing behind, but um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Hi guys, it's Anna Day Hannah here. I'm just realizing as I'm finishing up this video that I never filmed an extra and I wanted to pop Aaron here in here and say thank you so much for watching with us today. In a minute, we'll show you my mom's reaction to seeing the pots uh, and her part of her Mother's Day gift. She really enjoyed them. And I think it'll really provide some spring color to their front entrance. We'll definitely check in on them as the season progresses. I'm sure we'll be working in the area doing some cleanup work uh, as we get ready further along into the spring season. Uh, you'll also see a video coming out uh, later this week about those blue bells. Well, actually, it'll probably be early next week where we can show you how we kind of shifted those and put them in the landscape at the cottage, which they're going to be such a beautiful thing in the years to come. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you found some inspiration in those garden pots that you can put together a little hodgepodge of pansies and spring color, including some things that, you know, creeping flax is an annual that you might not put in a pot. You can do it temporarily and then enjoy it in the landscape. Anyway, thanks guys for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. I finished your pots. Oh, those look pretty. Thank you. And look, I have a surprise for you behind you in the... Oh, that is so cute. That's so cute.
That is so good. <laughs>